Hey everyone, welcome back to Imagination Tech. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Beta FPV 75X 2S Hoop Drone. Now, this has been out for probably uh, almost a year now. And uh, we're not going to be doing a review of this because, uh, because this is a really, really old model. But I just wanted to show you this thing that I got from John Alsona, um, the local distributor of Beta FPV products here in the Philippines. And this is the Crossfire version. Now, the reason I got this was because there is an upcoming 2S Dr. Grace. And also because you know John offered this at a promotional price of just 4,800 pesos. I'm just gonna put uh, the, the prices in dollars in the, uh, as a subtitle in the video or something. Now, okay, so it's 4,800 pesos. Considering that it is a crossfire, so what I was planning to do is I'm just gonna take the crossfire replace it with a regular one of those regular free sky receivers that I have lying around so basically uh, it's 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 almost like I bought this for just 3,300 pesos and since this beta 75x uh, already includes registration to the upcoming 2s ducted drone race which is I would have spent for around 500 pesos for that that you know the, the, the sum total for what um, basically what I would pay for this is just you know I just paid like 2,800 pesos for a beta 75x so you know whether or not it's a uh, it's an old model like for it's, it's been out for a year now it doesn't really matter at that price anymore and I can use the crossfire receiver on uh, on a long range build that I'm, uh, I'm I'm doing right now so anyway let's just go ahead and open this so taking a look inside we have this beta FPV these are spare props we have a spare canopy which is nice of course, uh, we, we get the Beta 75X 2S, 2S drone, and it also comes with a 350 milliamp battery. So, you know, it, this is really, really good value for money, and um, you know, you always want to look out for uh, promos like this that, that come out. Also, one reason why I wanted to do this video was because I wanted to see how the antenna was uh, mounted in the fortune, you know, um, so I know how. To mount it back, mount you know an antenna back or something, or if I want to put the crossfire back. So unfortunately, the antenna it seems like it's just hanging loose. Not really, really, not really happy about that. But um, you know, that's not that's you know it's not a deal breaker. You can just always mount it. You can just always mount it with um, some heat shrink, some zip ties and you're good to go but uh, in my case I am going to be removing that crossfire anyway so it doesn't really matter so I can see that there are some nice LEDs over there and it, it has uh, quite a heft to it um, so we'll probably try to weigh, the, weigh this when I get home um, I'm here visiting my, my, my mom so just a little bit of a peek I can see that the crossfire is there mounted at the very bottom of that stack so we'll just uh, we will open this up, um, and then replace it with a regular free sky receiver, maybe an XM or an XM Plus. This should be plenty of range for what I intend to use this for, which is you know, just for racing. And then let's see if you know. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to sell this uh, after that race or just going to keep it for my fleet because I have a, I have enough in my fleet as of the moment with the Emacs Tiny Hawk S and the Tiny Hawk Freestyle which I'm going to be doing a review of uh, it's probably going to be out now by the time uh, this video comes out alright so let's just go ahead put this thing on the scales open this up and then let's see how it flies so this is the Beta 75X after having its canopy removed uh, you just basically you just remove two screws that are holding the canopy in and uh, the crossfire receiver is also just here. I, I didn't see it yesterday because uh, it was covered by the battery. But um, yeah, the, the, the receiver, there's, there's a receiver slot here um, you know, between, the, between the bottom of this frame and also uh, the battery mount. So if you just pull on the receiver, it's actually just uh, held on by the wire. It's not uh, held on by zip ties or stick tape or anything like that. Okay, so, um, so here we have our crossfire receiver. And um, the stack is actually very, it, it's, this is a very, very good, uh, well-built, uh, you know, um, 2S quad. And uh, kudos to Beta FPV for that. So this is the flight controller board and beneath it is the, is the ESC. And they are connected to each other via some solid pins. So uh, here, 
I'm not sure if you can see that. But yeah, um, I didn't want to um, desolder the two boards together just so that I could remove the receiver because this is just such a well-built thing. I didn't want to, um, you know, damage it or, um, you know, compromise its structural integrity even before I had a chance to fly this thing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to... I, I took a uh, look at the board layout on the Beta FPV site as well as hook this up into Betaflight to determine um, you know uh, which port the crossfire is connected to and it's connected to UART1 and according to the board layout this is the ground oh, sorry this is the 5 volts this is ground I'm not sure if you can see that Maybe let's bring that a little bit closer so this is the 5 volts this ground and uh, the, these two pins are, are UART1 TX1 and RX1 I forgot which one is which but uh, for now we're gonna desolder it and once we desolder the crossfire receiver uh, we are just going to solder the you know the XM receiver here on top, so we don't have to you know remove the, the two bar the two boards apart. So let's we're just going to do that now, and just we're just going to cut to the finished product. So here it is now soldered onto uh, onto their respective pins. This is ground, this is five volts, and this is RX or the S bus uh, S bus uh, wire connected to RX1 and uh, TX1 is uh, left open because uh, you know the, the XM receiver that I, I put in here does not have any like anything else like for the TX1 okay so um, it I fitted the XM receiver here in the slot and uh, I brought the antenna up here probably gonna tape this there onto the duct so that it's you know nice and out of the way and that should be good for an indoor flyer not not particularly looking to you know fly this very long range so this, this should give us around 100 to 200 meters or maybe more of range so for next um, we're, we're not gonna close this up yet uh, just to make sure that everything's fine in any by the way let's, let's try plugging this in okay so yep the receiver is lighting up and uh, we'll just hook this to beta flight we need to change the the serial protocol on this thing and then we'll, we're gonna bind this to our radio and then let's just see how uh, if it, it flies but for now at least I now have an extra you know a, a, basically it's a free crossfire receiver that I got with this package so this was a very very good uh, very good deal so we hook up our Beta 75X or computer via USB and click on connect. Uh, we don't need to change anything in the ports tab, so we go on to the configurations tab. And I'm just going to change the craft name of my 75X to something for now. And then uh, we need to change our serial receiver provider from CRSF to SBUS because we're going to be using a FreeSky XM receiver. We also click on uh, turn on air mode and that's going to be pretty much what we need to change here on the configurations tab. We just click on save and reboot. Heading over to the modes tab we just need to uh, check and uh, we see that arm angle horizon mode are all pretty much all set. We even have turtle mode uh, already set up. Uh, but we do want to set up a beeper because we already have the D-shot uh, you know, shot, -shot uh, motor motor sounds I'm not sure what that's called so we set that to aux 3 and change uh, turtle mode to aux 4 and we'll just uh, set that up uh, in our transmitter accordingly so we're gonna leave uh, pretty much everything else to default I'm just gonna leave you with some flight footage of uh, my semi seat we'll click on disconnect and we're all good to go